Hey everyone, in the previous video I shared with you my travel makeup bag. This time I'm showing with you what I bring inside my travel skincare bag. I usually bring my entire skincare routine with me and I fill them in small travel containers like these that I get from Muji and I place them all in this larger bag also from Muji. Every container I use here from the bottles to the bag is from Muji. I just really like the products and I find them to be the most durable among all the containers that I've used. They also don't leak or spill so that's another bonus. I usually travel for a week at most so the amount of skincare that I bring with me is more than enough to cover for the entire week. I remove my makeup with a Bioderma micellar water. I like using this pump bottle as it dispenses just the right amount of product. A few pumps on a cotton pad is all I need to remove my makeup. I follow up by cleansing my face with the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. I pour some out on this little jar and I just scoop some out every time I need to use it. I brought my usual combo of SK2 Facial Treatment Clear Lotion and Facial Treatment Essence. They look quite similar from here, with the essence being just a little bit more yellow, so in order to distinguish them, I placed a little green sticker in the bottom of the bottle of the clear lotion. I also bought the Crave Beauty Killaluya for days when my skin looks a bit rougher, and I had the Labo Hyaluronic Acid for me to use on top of my SK2 combo at night and to use on its own in the morning. I also brought a bottle of the Muji Moisturizing Milk. This is my basic everyday moisturizer for the day and night. The Cosrx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask seals all my skincare at night and serves as the last layer of my skincare. I also like to use this as a light mask in the day whenever my skin decides to be a bit dry. Its easily absorbable texture allows it to double as a brightening and damage repairing moisturizer because of the niacinamide in its ingredients. For acne treatments, I bring the Etude House Sunjung Balm for when I have acne that I've popped. It helps with disinfecting and healing the acne spot. The Cosrx Acne Pimple Master Patches are heaven sent. They're made of hydrocolloid and it sucks out all of that pus and gunk from a pimple. I find that this works best especially when a zit is ready to pop, but it does shrink those pimples that are just about to appear. These two are my just-in-case items. I don't use them if I don't have acne. I like to bring a small tub with some masks that I currently use for some self-care nights in the hotel room. The ones that I brought with me on my previous trips were Glossier's Mega Greens Galaxy Pack and their Moisturizing Moon Mask. I used to really like bringing sheet masks such as the Cosrx One Step Moisture Up Kit, but I've recently been into wash-off masks more. This duo is awesome. <laughs> the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack leaves my skin feeling rejuvenated and baby butt smooth, while the Moisturizing Moon Mask amps up the hydration on my face. These two are winning combo and I really really enjoy using these a lot. For mornings, I religiously apply SPF after washing and moisturizing my face. Crave Beauty's The Beach Shield is a great sunscreen that not only works well but it's also small and compact. It takes up little to no space in your bag or in your pocket so I just bring this one with me when I travel. On to some miscellaneous items, I moisturize my lips at night before going to sleep. The Bite Beauty lip mask is gloriously thick and nourishing, perfect for my constantly dry and chapped lips. I also bring nail oil with me. I made this myself by following Simply Nail Logical's formula and I religiously apply it to my cuticles to moisturize them and to keep my nails strong. Lastly, I always bring a hand cream. This Aesop Resurrection Aromatic Hand Balm is great for moisturizing my hands when they feel dry. I also really love how it smells. That's all of the products that I have in my skincare bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!